Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Evan with Pod Peak, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a pencil tool for drawing automation in Reaper. Let's get it. Welcome to Pod Peak, where I talk about recording, editing, and sound design for music production, podcasts, and film. If you're new to the channel, make sure and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure and ding that bell so you get notified every time I put out a new piece of content. So if you're like me, you use automation envelopes every day. Automation envelopes can be used to adjust volume, pan, and even parameters on effects plugins and instruments, just to name a few. Most commonly, envelope tweaks can be made by setting envelope points by holding shift and left clicking. Then adjusting, you can also use the mouse modifier, holding down command on a Mac and control on a PC and dragging, which creates a pencil tool that lets you essentially draw the automation. But sometimes you might wanna free up your hands and your mind by just focusing on the automation. And this is where creating a pencil tool can really come in handy. Now to create a pencil tool in Reaper, we need to create what is known as a toggle. A toggle is essentially an on-off switch that enables or arms an action, in our case, the pencil tool, that can be switched back off when you're done using it. Some examples of toggles in Reaper are the mixer window. You can turn it on and turn it off. Another example is the grid lines, turn them on, turn them off, or bringing up the track manager, turn it on, turn it off. These are just a few examples. Now toggles can be activated in a couple of different ways. The most common being using a keystroke or utilizing a toolbar button. Now the great thing about using a button is that it gives you a visual of when the button's actually turned on or off. For example, when I turn on my pencil tool, the button turns red, which gives me a clear indication that the tool is activated and ready to use. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact steps you need to take to create a pencil tool, or for that matter, any toggle action. But before we get started, you're gonna to need to make sure you have two things so you can follow along. The SWS extensions and the cycle action editor, which actually comes with the SWS extensions. Now if you haven't already downloaded and installed SWS extensions, I suggest watching this video by John Tidy over at the Reaper blog where he walks you through step-by-step -step on how to get SWS extensions installed correctly in Reaper. All right, let's get into it. So here we are in a blank Reaper session with the look and feel of Reaper with its default settings. The first thing you need to do is open the Cycle Action Editor. Go to Extensions and scroll down to Cycle Action Editor and click. This opens up the Cycle Action Editor. On the left side is where you'll name the cycle action or toggle. Right click and let's name it pencil tool on off. Next, open the actions list by clicking this button. Now to create a pencil tool, you're essentially just changing a mouse modifier. In the actions list, search envelope segment. This brings up the list of mouse modifiers for the envelope segment. Select this one, envelope segment left drag to freehand draw envelope ignoring snap. With this action selected, go back to the Cycle Action Editor, right-click, and choose Add Selected Action. You've now added this action to the Cycle Action Editor. But to turn this action on, we need to add a toggle. To achieve this, right-click and choose Add Step. This creates a step or a toggle, which will eventually turn the action on. So now, you need to add the next action or the off state of the toggle, which will turn the pencil tool off and set Reaper back to its default setting. Let's go back to the actions list. Select this one, envelope segment left drag to move envelope segment ignoring the time selection, which is the factory default setting. Let's go back to the cycle action editor, right click and paste the action. Now we have our pencil tool toggle set up. But there's still a few steps we need to make to ensure it's working correctly. First, let's make sure the toggle button is enabled. Do this by clicking here. Now click apply. Now let's test the cycle action or toggle to make sure it's working in Reaper. Let's create a track and pull up the volume envelope. Right now, Reaper's in its default setting. So when I hover the cursor over the envelope, left click and drag, it adjusts the overall volume envelope. I can't draw automation. 
Now I can use mouse modifiers to tweak the envelope like I showed you earlier in the video. Shift and left click to insert envelope points, or hold command on the Mac, control on the PC, and draw with the pencil tool. But we're creating a unique pencil tool, so let's test that toggle. So right now the pencil tool's off. Reaper is in its default setting. Go to the cycle action editor and right click. Choose run. This should enable the pencil tool. Let's go back to our volume envelope and you'll see as I hover the cursor over the envelope, it turns into a pencil. Now I can just left click and draw automation. So now let's make sure we can turn the pencil tool back off. Go to the cycle action editor, right click and choose run. Now the pencil tool should be turned off. We'll go back to the envelope, hover the cursor, and sure enough, the pencil tool is disabled and the factory settings have been restored. The pencil tool works. But there's still a few steps we need to take to create a toolbar button that'll show the on-off state of the toggle. Go to the actions list and search pencil tool. Now the toggle we created in the cycle action editor shows up. Select it and let's add a keystroke. I'm going to use Control P. Now, if I hit the keystroke, it enables my pencil tool. If I hit it again, it turns it off. But there's still one more step. We need to create a toggle button or icon so we can see if our tool is on or off. Let's go to the main toolbar and right click. Choose Customize Toolbar. At the bottom, right click and choose Insert Action. Search Pencil Tool and choose it. Now, let's add an icon or button. Hover your cursor over the action and right click, and this brings up the toolbar icons. In the filter, search pencil. We'll choose this one. Now we can click our icon or button to enable the pencil tool, and we can see it's on because the button is green. When we're done, we can turn the button off, which will set us back to our default settings. So that's how to make a pencil tool in Reaper. I also showed you the Cycle Action Editor, which allows you to create toggles in Reaper. I'm sure you can imagine, the possibilities are pretty much endless and are only limited by your imagination or your workflow. So that's it for today's tutorial. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and make sure and ding that bell so you get updates every time I put out a new video. All right, well, take care of yourselves, be well. Peace out, we'll see you next time.